Hey everybody, today for you I wanted to share a new nail polish collection that I'm super excited about. Um, it is from Gridlock Lacquer and I'm sure most if not all of you haven't really heard of this brand. It's an indie brand based out of Buffalo, New York and um, it's really cool. The, the person who makes these lacquers, her name is Lisa, and basically what she does is all these lacquer collections or nail polish collections are city collections. And what she does is she researches and sometimes even visits these cities and their culture and she bases her nail polish colors off of the culture of that city. Um, so I have her newest collection which is the Pittsburgh collection and since I'm a Pittsburgher of course I had to pick it up. Um, her other cities include uh, Rochester, Buffalo, Niagara Falls, and I think there's one more Cleveland in Cleveland. So those are the uh, city collections that she has and she also has a wine collection as well. So I will post a link to her website in the description box and uh, without further ado I want to show you everything, all the polishes in her Pittsburgh collection. There are 10 polishes. I do, be I do believe every city collection that she has done that there are 10 polishes. Um, so the first one in the Pittsburgh collection is called um, Pop art is for everyone, and this is a glitter topper, and basically this pays homage to Andy Warhol, which if you didn't know, the artist Andy Warhol is from Pittsburgh. We even have an Andy Warhol museum. Um, so the glitter in here is different shapes. It has uh, squares, triangles, circles, hexes, and of course you can see the different colors, the green, blue, red, pink, and uh, so that pays homage to him and his artwork. Okay, the next one in the collection, this is called Pittsburghese, not Bourgeoisie. Uh, this is a blue, like a navy blue metallic. And Pittsburghese is our uh, dialect, so to speak. Some people say our accent. <laughs> Some people ask me, where are you from? What's that accent from? I'm like, I don't have an accent. Um, but basically, if you know any Pittsburghers or if you're from Pittsburgh, you know that we have our own language, I don't know, whatever. It's called Pittsburghese. So we say stuff that nobody else in the country says. For example, gum band, aka rubber band. Nobody else says that. We do. <laughs> so that's just one example. Um, the next polish in the collection is called Yin's Gone Dantan. And yes, I did pronounce it right. That is part of our Pittsburghese. Dantan. We don't say downtown. We say Dantan. <laughs> And uh, this is a beautiful pink uh, polish with gold shimmer. It's beautiful. And uh, Yin's is also Pittsburghese. Instead of saying you guys or y'all, we say Yin's. Uh, next polish in the collection, this is called Steel My Heart, S-T-E-E-L. And uh, Pittsburgh is known for their steel production, especially back in the day. Uh, and obviously, this is a... Sh um, like a metallic steel gray. <laughs> so that's that one. The next polish in the collection is also a glitter topper. It's called City of Champions and of course it's black and gold. Uh, there's some holographic glitters in there too. So basically this pays homage to our Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, we also have the Penguins and the Pirates, which are also black and gold, but uh, I'm, I'm the Steeler person here. So, there's City of Champions. Next polish in the collection is called Chipped Ham. This is another Pittsburghese word. Um, this is a pink with silver shimmer. And if you don't know what chipped ham is, chipped ham here in Pittsburgh is ham that is sliced extremely thin thin. Okay, it's lunch meat. Uh, it's sliced thinner than a piece of paper. So we like to eat our chipped ham sandwiches here in Pittsburgh for lunch. And uh, this is, it's showing up a little bit brighter than what it actually is, but this is the color of chipped ham. <laughs> so next color is called Bridges Bridges Everywhere, and this is a pale shimmer yellow. And uh, if you know Pittsburgh, we are the city of three rivers, and it's connected by a whole bunch of bridges, most of them, which are 
yellow. And actually, trivia, there are actually four rivers in Pittsburgh. One is actually underground. Um, but Pittsburgh is known for their three rivers, two rivers that come to a point to create the third river. And so are yellow bridges. Next polish in the collection is called So Inclined, and this is a green polish with gold glitter. And this pays homage to our Inclined Dantan. <laughs> um, probably the hillside because it is covered with green trees. Um, basically, we have, we have Mount Washington or a mountain downtown, so if you're at the bottom and you want to go to the top and vice versa, you can ride the Incline. Um, the Incline car itself is bright red, um, but again, she probably did green for the foliage on the mountain itself. And speaking of bright red, the next nail polish color is called Ketchup, K-E-T-C-H-U-P, with Pittsburghers. And this is a red polish with red glitter in it, and this pays homage to Heinz Ketchup Company. If you didn't know Heinz was from Pittsburgh, you do now. So this is an absolutely beautiful polish. It's actually a jelly base, and it's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. So that's what it looks like. And yes, I chopped all my nails off, which is why they look short and stubby and ugly. Um, but this is Ketchup with Pittsburghers. And last but not least, the last color is called Fries on Everything. And this is a bright yellow shimmer polish. And uh, if you don't know what this is paying homage to, it's paying homage to one of our local restaurants called Primani Brothers. And uh, in Primani Brothers, on every single sandwich you order, we not only have fries, but we also have lettuce, tomato, and coleslaw. But basically, she's paying homage to the fries. Now, don't say, ew, yuck, that's disgusting, okay? Don't knock it till you try it, because I'm telling you, it's really good. <laughs> so... That is that. So that's all 10 colors in the collection. It's really awesome. The only thing I would change, though, is I would switch the names on the two yellow colors. Because actually, this is more, this bright yellow is more the colors of the bridges that we have in Pittsburgh than this. And basically, this is more of a fries color, especially if it's uh, yellow fries. But uh, but that's just me. But it's still pretty awesome. Again, she has this collection and other city collections. Again, I'll post a link to her website in the down bar. Please check it out. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I like the idea of what she's going for. So uh, I, I encourage you to definitely check it out. They are five free. Just like Zoe Nail Polish, there is no formaldehyde, formaldehyde resin, dibutyl uh, phthalate, toline and camphor and it's also cruelty free so not only is it a uh, good nail polish but it's also healthy nail polish just like zoya so if you're pregnant you can still paint your nails all right so that's that uh that's what i wanted to share with you because i was really excited any questions or comments please post in the down bar below and i'll talk to you later bye